Get ready, Hawks. It's time for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. That was great. Now please be seated for a moment of silence. Today on HMG News, we will be discussing the clothing drive and Thanksgiving break. And reporters Vincent and James will be talking about the office on Screenhawks. Today is Wednesday, November 17th, and you're watching HMG, HMG News. News. Good morning, Hawks. I'm Madison Arner. And I'm Juliana Lisade. Here are your morning announcements. Have you seen the boxes in the hallways the past week? They're for the Leaves of Love clothing drive NWCTA is doing. You can donate clothing and receive house five store points. Just look for the boxes in the hallway. The last clothing drive will last until November 21st, which is next week, so bring your clothes in. You know the one guy in the suit and they will all work in an office? It's a really well-known comedy show. You mean The Office? Yes, that's the, show, that's the show Vincent and James will be telling us about on Screenhawks. I'm James Wills. And I'm Vitsa Yellman. And welcome back to Screen Hawks, the show where you watch us tell you what to watch. And we'll be reviewing the 2005 sitcom The Office. The Office is a 2005 sitcom that depicts the daily lives of office employees working in Scranton, Pennsylvania at a paper company called Dunder Mifflin Paper Company. Having ordinary people that deal with daily life and personal issues that all characters go through together leads to a more relatable and interesting story. The show manages to be both relatable and still have over-the-top situations that are very funny and interesting for the viewer. The Office is an amazing uh, sitcom that has interesting and funny characters, yet they are just some ordinary people. Uh, it has amazing and funny moments that anyone can laugh at when watching this show. Uh, that's why here in Screen Hawks we'll be giving this 5 out of 5 Hawks. That's cut for Screen Hawks for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode and stay tuned for future content. I'm Vincent Yelmas, back to the studio. Have you watched The Office, Madison? Nope, I just like the memes. Uh, that could be offensive to the people watching this that are fans of the show. I'm only joking. Moving on. Hey Hawks, did you know the school cafe is now open? Here's your guide. The cafe is located in the far back corner of the 300s hallway. Walk past Ms. Oviet's office, past the stairwell, and the cafe will be located to your left before the banquet hall. They sell pastries, hot and cold meals, and freshly made snacks. You might be asking yourself, what's the catch? Everything is one to three dollars, so why wouldn't you want to go? Wow, everything looks so delicious and so cheap. I'll definitely be coming here, will you? Hey Hawks, be ready for Monday. The College of Southern Nevada will visit Northwest. They will be here from 9.27 a.m. to 9.57 a.m. Email David Shonton for more information. Remember Hawks, Education Week hasn't ended yet. Be sure to use your time wisely and do your best. You know who I'm talking to. Stop procrastinating. Don't forget, next week is Thanksgiving break. Oh, that's right. I can't wait for a few days off from school. Next week is going to be a short week. We only have school on Monday and Tuesday. The rest of the week is yours to enjoy. Do you have any plans for Thanksgiving? Other than sleeping, sleeping, work, I guess. That's so real. I'm definitely sleeping in. Enough about our boring lives. Thank you for watching this edition of HMG News. And make sure to follow us on our Instagram at hawkmedia.group.news. And you can also follow us on Twitch at HMG underscore Twitch. And you can also catch up on previous episodes on our YouTube at HMG News. I'm Madison Arner. And I'm Juliana Lisalde. Have, have a, a great, great day. day.